G'day and welcome back to uh, Riverview Farms. Today is the day I want to get our tractor outfitted and definitely want to get a new cabin. That, that sucks having to sleep in a tent. But yes, we want the front loader, we want log grapple and we're going to need a weight. So I've gone through, we're looking at about, about $11,000 all up and then a nice six meter log trailer about three and a half thousand on top of that so it's achievable gotta not waste any time uh i have also worked out that our boundary line is around about here so i'm not going to cut down this tree because that's pretty much on the boundary line so all these ones here i just want to cut down we're gonna like I said last episode, put everything is four meter of the 2.5 to fit that trailer. But I'm not going to cap down the longer pieces this time. Just going to keep going through, picking up what we can. And then once we get the front loader, we should be right to lift them straight onto the trailer. Nice and easy. Yeah, so we've got lots of work to do today. I don't want to waste the time. We did get interest taken out again. It's another 1666. So it would be nice to start working, pay pay the loan off, but we really need to get the equipment. And I want to get some mowing things. Tomorrow's the last day before winter, or last month before winter. So I'd like to get in and mow as much as I can around here. That way. Once we've got the money, we can get a small little baler, bail it up, and then hopefully find a nice cheap uh, pallet wrap, uh, bale wrapper. Same pallet wrapper. So yeah, I'm going to get in here, we're going to chop down quite a few trees, then I'll cut them all up into a nice little trailer length, and we'll go from there. All right, so I've ended up cutting down. Uh, there were seven trees here. I think there's another tree over there. I've cut them all into nice little two and a half meter lengths. My only worry now is though, because a lot of the trees are pine, I can't pick up. Like it's a very heavy tree. So a lot of these pieces down this end, like I can't pick that one, can't pick that one. So we'll see how we go anyway. I'm going to do all these pieces that I can pick up. We'll take them up to sell. But yeah, I have a feeling we're not going to make what we need. And the other good thing is we're working towards, we are making more land available to mow. So we could actually do pretty well with silage out of here. <clears throat> Alright, so what I'm going to do is, I am going to cut up a couple of these little bits. We'll chuck them in the back of the the ute there and yeah we'll get our first load up sell it come back rinse and repeat all right so that should do us let's get in take her up oh, rock that one lock that off take her up hopefully we'll make around about that three grand mark that we were getting last episode yeah, like I said, about it's going to be about thirteen and a half thousand, maybe a little bit less. Just depends on the weight that I end up paying. Oh, honestly, six hundred to six hundred and fifty kilo should be fine. I would think so. We're only doing six meter logs. That's definitely going to weigh more than any of the log I'm going to try to pick up. Logically, it should work. However, <laughs> I have found things not not to work when you think they would. So, anyway, so we'll race this up to the uh, sell point and see what we get. Okay, I had a little look at the prices for wood. It looks like the heating plant is still the way to go. It's probably about fifty dollars. 
per thousand. So, and considering they're right next to each other, it's, you know, why wouldn't I go for what's got more? All right, yeah, not bad. Okay, so like I said, I've already got them all cut. I'll load them up. We'll do a bit of a bit of a montage of me selling up here until we can if we can get another 10 grand worth I'll be happy so I'll see how we go time wise I don't want to be wasting too much so the sooner I can get those attachments and that the sooner we should start making a bit more money and plus that trailer is just going to be it's going to be like a level unlock that is <laughs> anyways like I said we'll do a little backwards and forwards show you what we're getting and hopefully within three or four loads we should be right to head down the shop Finally, this should be it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm a bit over having to chop the wood up this small just to load it up. Being able to go to six meters just, it's gonna make a world of difference. Let's get this on here. I think I was saying about 13 and a half is what we need to be able to Get everything including the trailer so we can hope should do good good all right we'll head back down grab our tractor and then we're going on a little shopping spree oh this is excellent there is a bit of wood left over down there what i could do is i will load that all up onto the ute trailer here they're all it's still all 2.5 meter lengths and it's only going to be one more load so may as well finish it off with this but i'm not going to do it yet i'm going to go grab the tractor go for our little shopping spree and should be left with about we've we got wriggle room anyway so I changed my mind about the weight, I could even go a little bit heavier. So might be an idea. Yes, we'll get back down, grab our tractor, and then we'll head to the store. <coughs> right, so I'll just pull this up here. We really haven't done much driving in the Mahindra. <laughs> We're funny. Yeah, we've only uh, picked it up and brought it down to here. Right. So yeah, we've got a bit of, little bit of wood left over here, but that's all right. Like I said, we'll deal with that a bit later. Always run it up uh, before the end of the day, I guess. But I just want to do, I, I want to get a load of six meter logs up into a trailer just to see just to see the difference we make just from one load. I mean, personally, I'm hoping for six to eight thousand dollars per load. That would be just wonderful. Then we should easily be able to get our mower to, uh, by November. Do the mowing. It's all right if we leave it on the ground, we can always windrow it and bale it up over the winter. Yeah, we're moving up and I'm actually getting excited to go mowing.
All right, we'll get to the shop and then we'll go and buy up. Here we are. I'm excited to actually get to buy some gear that's going to really help us out. It'll be awesome. Bloody gear we're all over the road. Okay, let's get in and let's get this done. So, we want front loader. We're just going to go with the seven grand one. Perfect. Now we want our front loader tool with the log grapple or log fork. Beautiful. Now wait. No. We'll go with the 750 kilo 10 winkle. There we go. And it leaves us just enough for the trailer. No, yes, yes, it does. Oh, God. I thought we were going to run out then. We'll leave it that color. Uh, does it make any difference? We will go. Yeah, we'll go them because they're a little bit more off road. 3,800. Done. $72 left over. But hey, that's well, well worth it. Now, I already know I've got a problem. I'm going to have to leave the trailer here so I can get the weight up. I haven't got no front attach attacher. So, we'll hook this up, run our weight up, and we'll quickly run back. Actually, I might even grab the, um, we'll use the 4x4 because it'll be quicker. I'll hit the trailer, run it all back, we'll get set up, and we'll try it, test out our new toys, eh? Alrighty, here we go. Just pulling up now with the trailer. The, the old 4 by 4 doesn't do too bad, actually. Did have to bring it down a bit. I'll... All right. So let's get straight into it. I want to see how much it takes to build that up, and if the Mahindra can handle. It. So I'm just going to start off with this spruce tree. That's what I should do is I'm pretty sure six meter logs are gonna be fine in that trailer. But I'm just gonna go measure it just to make sure. And we'll make up our measuring stick, cut this up, and then we'll see how we go with our front loader. Okay, so we're not exactly at six meters. The trailer was a little bit more than five meters long. So I've got it at about five and a half meter, thanks. Now that I'm starting to see the weights, I'm getting a little worried. Next time I'll actually start down. Oh, look at that. All right, that'll go on the trailer. Ooh. Okay, let's see how this works. I have been having a little bit of a trouble with my, um, uh, key bindings with the front loader. Cool. You'll notice I've got it hooked up with my um, control panel. When I open and close, no, that's not even working now. <laughs> so it was working. Yeah. I have to look into it a bit more because my open and close is supposed to be for the front loaders, actually opening and closing my, my tractor door. That's right, we'll look into that later. And go up and down and move that around. It's just a, I have to use my mouse to actually open the graph. So let's see how we do if we can 
we can pick up this one all right. And the rest should be good. I'm a bit worried about the pine though, because it is a heavier wood. Don't want that other. So far, so good. We're not, we're not tipping forward, so. Going to say that the weight is work. Beautiful. Love it. Love to see. Oh, I am a happy man right now, I tell you. And this is exactly why I got this trailer, so that you don't get uh, impeded in the middle there. Look at that, like a glove. Right, so I'm gonna go through, I'll chop down a few more trees, cut them all up into those lengths, and then we'll fill up the trailer, see how we go. I'm really excited to see how much we're gonna make off one trailer. Okay, so I've gone through, I think we've got about four. Actually, let's stick there, we can go now, we don't need that anymore. Back in on the trailer. Yeah, I think I've done about four, four trees or so. One, two, Oh, yeah. So <clears throat> I'll go through, we'll do like a little time lapse loading up the trailer and yeah, then we can take it up and see how much we make. really want to put too much more on just yet as I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it. So that's not too bad anyway. Or uh, eight, nine logs, all five point, about 5.5 .5 meters. What I'm going to do is just attach my weight and the front loader. We are running out of time too, so I'd like to go at least get this sold, come back down, cut up a bit more, get that ready for next episode. There we go. Okay, let's see how we go with this. Oh, what? That's actually not too bad. 
there. Oh, oh no. Oh, jeez. I forgot all about that with the... Uh, the advantage with this trailer is, though, we can link another one. And it's only three and a half grand, so it's, it's not like overly an, an overly expensive trailer. But what I am interested in is once we get to the hill that leads into the sawmill, I'm just wondering how it's going to perform there. Hopefully it'll be alright, but we'll see. Take this up here before I get to the hill. I'll come back in. And we'll see how it goes up there. That'll decide whether or not it'll be worth going for that second trailer. So we're just coming up now to the turn off. With a little bit of a hill. Now I've been thinking about it too. I don't know it's really worth going a second trailer. Let's see how we go here. Oh yeah. She struggles. She's nah. We're not gonna go that second. The old Mahindra, she's not gonna get that up there. I mean even if I just load a little bit more on it, it's still going to really test it out. Anyways, now for the exciting part, let's see how much oh and I mean, it isn't full. I could still probably get another two or three on there. But like I said, we're running out of time. I wanted to get it up <laughs> while we were still within our working day. But that was so much easier driving it on this trailer than it was the other one. All right. I'm nervous. <laughs> wow. Look at the difference. Oh my. Well, you know what that means? Let's get back down. I'm going to finally pack up that tent. No more sleeping on the ground for us. We're getting ourselves a nice, uh, the quaint, quaint little uh, log cabin. There, we'll head back down and we'll get all that sorted. Right, so we just got back now. The um, really starting to get dark early now. Oh, oh, oh! All right, up there. Lovely. Where? So I don't reckon we'll get much more work done. And over winter, even though we can work. Eight, six. I'm pretty sure winter we're only going to really have light between nine and five. All right, let's get rid of this tent. Yay! And now we'll get our nice little cabin. It's only tiny, but it's going to do the job. Look at that. Oh my god. We got a couch. <laughs> we got everything we need. Nice little view out over the uh, water there. Got ourselves a thunderbox. We're happy. Look at that. We can cook. Couch is much better to sleep on than the bloody ground was. So yeah, all in all, I think today's been very successful. Got everything we needed. Now we'll be able to start loading those up. I reckon we'll be able to get 8,000 to load with those couple of extra logs on there. Then we can start uh, working towards the mower. Should be able to get all this mode up by um, next episode. Okay, we're going to finish it up here. Thanks so much for popping by and giving it a watch. Remember, like and subscribe. We'll have two episodes coming out each week. And it'll be each Tuesdays and Thursdays. And yeah, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you again next episode. Thank you.